Hi everyone, welcome to Pop Pop's Workshop. This is part two of my soft light box build. And I built the stand today to be able to support it. And I want to show you how I did it. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm doing is just locating where I want to put this bracket. And I'm not really using a tape measure. I'm just eyeballing this and marking two holes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use a little pilot and hole and drill that into those two places. And then I'll change over and use the larger bit to be able to drill the final hole that the screw can go into. Now the screws that I'm using are one inch long and it's 1024 is the size of the screw and I'm just slipping the bracket on with those two screws to begin with and I'm going to secure that in place with the two screws holding the bracket on I can just go ahead and take the drill and drill the other two holes now I have all four screws in place and all I'm going to do is just take the washer and a nut and put on there to be able to secure it in place. Now I am going to add a second nut onto each one of these to act as a lock nut so that this will not come loose. And this does not have to be tightened down real tight because if you do obviously it's going to crush the foam. The other alternative would be, and I don't think it's really necessary, is I could have put a piece of the coroplastic in but I don't want to take away from the white that I have inside of the light. Now I want to show you a quick view of the completed assembly. Then I have the lock nuts in place and then on the outside you can see the bracket in place and I think that's going to work out really well. Time will tell to see how this holds up. Now to make this stand I'm using a one inch PVC pipe and to do this I went out to the scrap bin and I found all different odd lengths of the one inch pipe that I have used for other projects and I've just salvaged and held on to. Well, today I'm putting those to use. Okay, for the last few minutes I've been playing with dimensions and kind of design ideas and this is what I've come up with. Because this will actually be able to stand close to a wall if I need it and I can actually pull it out and do any kind of moving that I need to. And I can also break this down and be able to transport it should I need to do that also because I'm not going to glue any of these joints together. Now then, as far as the dimensions, this is a one inch PVC pipe that I'm using. These small pieces in here are two inches and you're going to need three of those. This is a four way, this is a 45 degree. This dimension right here so you're going to need one piece that's 12 inches that will go into the four way. Then you'll need the two inch piece that goes in here and then the 45. And then you're going to need two this long. This is 18 inches. The long piece is two feet. So if I take this now and put it all together to show you, we're going to start out with my one foot piece, slip it in here. That goes into the four way. And then this is my two inch. This is the two inch. It slides in here. And then these two 18 inch pieces. Just to verify, yep, that was 18 inches. And these turn back at an angle so that this will sit on the floor. And then this two inch piece with the 45 goes in here. 
and then this is the 24 inch piece of the PVC and that creates the stand very very stable it's not going to go anywhere the last piece is actually three feet long 36 inches and that's going to go in here but what I'm going to do is set this out of the way and I want to drill a hole in here and put a quarter 20 tap in it so that I can actually hold my one inch dowel rod to be able to go up and down to raise and lower the light. Now to be able to use this tap on a quarter 20 I need to drill the hole 1364 into my PVC and what I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole first to be able to I want to make sure that the bit doesn't wander okay there's my pilot hole and that cuts through there real quick now to be able to tap this into the PVC it's actually very very easy because this is such a soft material but I'm just going to just screw that right in there and that's really all there is to it I don't have to treat it as it was metal because it's definitely not and it's very soft so I now have the threads in there that I'm looking for and what I'm using is just a guide left for the, uh, like a table to be able to level it. And this is a quarter 20 thread that's on here, which is perfect. And this will create a nice little decorative handle. And this will screw right into place. And that will hold the one inch dowel rod that I'm going to use in here to be able to slide it up and down. So this is going to be perfect. I want to get a close up of this setup because by loosening this I can raise and lower the light to any height that I need it. This little sleeve right here makes it where if this is loose this is not going to drop inside by accident if I lose the loosen this one right here. So this is just a little safety catch and it's held in with that same little knob. Now then if I need to have this lower then I'll change out my three foot piece to something lower and then I can actually move this up and down to be able to change the height. But I think this is a very simple setup. It makes it where I can rotate this very easily and to any direction that I want. So this is what the softbox light looks like once it was completed and I have the connection here which was that flagpole attachment and that goes down to that one inch dowel rod and all the way down to this base which I think is a very simple easy to make base that's very sturdy. Now in continuing to play with this design I actually do not need to have that 12 inch vertical piece there to go to the ground because the tripod actually gives plenty of support. So what I did is I took this 12 inch piece and actually put it in this location and I cut my three foot piece and now I have a, a joint here so I can actually have a lower light. So now I've got a two foot section and I can also now put in my three foot section if I need the light taller. So I actually like this better than using one three foot section because this gives me more flexibility. The other thing that I wanted to be able to point out, this little sleeve right here, I can actually drop that down to the height that I need it and tighten that. And then if this is loosened it's not a big deal and that gives me the opportunity to be able to rotate the light and that as another function.
So again, this is me just thinking outside the box and trying to improve the design. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.